Hi guys, welcome back sa YouTube channel ko. So for today, magsasagot lang tayo ng isang math olympiad problem. So actually, this <coughs> galing to sa isang math competition sa Amerika. So ang tanong is the sides of what non right isosceles triangle XYZ are sin x, cosin x, and tangent x. Compute the value of sin x. So under to ng trigonometry, or pwede rin naman geometry, pero sige, since may trigonometric functions, gawin na lang natin siyang triangle. So, unang-una, kailangan alam natin yung definition ng isosceles triangle. Ano ba ang isosceles triangle in the first place? Ang isosceles triangle, mga lodi, ito yung klase ng triangle na kung saan meron tayong dalawang equal sides. Okay? Sinabi siya, sinabi dito mga lodi na non-right isosceles siya. So, hindi siya right triangle, pero isosceles triangle lang siya. In such a way na the two sides are equal. <clears throat> okay, mga lods? So, ano yung mga sides natin? So, we have sin x, cosine x, and tangent x. Compute the value of sin x. Kaya lang, hindi natin alam saan dito sa tatlo yung equal sides natin. So, kailangan gumawa tayo ng case-to-case -case basis. Okay, so, i-assume muna natin na ang sin x equal kay cosine x. Bakit? Kasi, ay so serious nga siya. We assume that two sides <coughs> are equal mga lods. So, kapag ito, kinumpute natin yung value ng x. So, divide natin both sides by cosine x mga lodi. So, what will happen? We have tangent x equals 1. So, yung pinaka-solution nito, within 90 degrees or from 0 to 90, we have 45 degrees, mga lodi. <clears throat> Kapag nakuha natin na 45 degrees yan, isubstitute natin dun sa mga uh, sides natin. So, ang sides natin will be sine 45 degrees, tapos cosine 45 degrees, mga lodi at saka tangent 45 degrees. Okay? Kapag ginumpit natin to, this is square root of 2 over 2. Square root of 2 over 2, ito is 1. Kaya lang, kapag ito, tinesting natin mga lodi, using the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, it will satisfy. Therefore, these are sides of a right triangle. Kaya lang, non-right. So, dapat, hindi na natin to consider yung case na yan. X na yan. Okay, next. Try naman natin yung sin x equal kay <coughs> uh, tangent x. Okay? So, alam natin by the tangent definition na ang tangent is equal to sin x over cosine x. Okay? Multiply natin both sides by cosine x. Cosine x, sin x equal sin x. Lipat sa kabila. So, we have cosine x mga lods sin x minus sin x is equal to 0. So, i-factor out natin si sin x. Ganito po mag-solve ng trigonometric equations. So, hindi tayo pwede mag-cancel mga lodi. So, kailangan i-kunin nyo LCD and then multiply and factor out nyo na lang. So, cancellation is pinagbabawal kapag sa ganito. So, cosin x minus 1 equal 0. So, it follows that sin x is equal to 0 and cosine x is equal to 1. Ang mga values nito mga lodi is for sine to be 0. So, meron tayong 0 degrees. Kaya lang, hindi pwede. Kasi yung magiging side natin mga lodi will be 0. Meron ba tayong side na 0 in the first place? Di ba? Wala. Tama mga lodi. Di ba? Wala naman tayong side na 0. So, pwede na. Try naman natin sa cosine x equals 1. So, ang cosine magiging 1 lang kapag ang value mo is 0. Okay? At saka 2 pi. Kaya lang, kapag naging 2 pi yan, yung tangent ng 2 pi is 0. Eh, wala naman tayong 0 na side. Therefore, ito is, hindi na rin pwede. So, ano yung last condition natin? So, ito na. So, burahin ko muna ito, mga lods, ha? <coughs> so, yung last case na natin na i-co-consider will be cosine x must be equal to tangent x. And then, same procedure. So, we have cosine x equals sine x over cosine x. So, we have cosine squared x minus sine x is equal to 0. Minultiply ko lang mga lods, lipat sa kabila. Kaya lang inahanap sine x, ano identity nito? So, from the Pythagorean identity na sine squared x plus cosine squared x is equal to 1. So, ang magiging identity niyan, we have cosine squared x equals 1 minus sine squared x. Tama ba, Lodi Cakes? Okay, tama sir, IJ. So, we have 1 minus sine squared x minus sine x is equal to 0. So, pwede natin i-let you yung sine x. Let you equal sine x para maging quadratic siya. 
So we have 1 minus u squared minus u equal 0. So we have u squared, lipat sa kabila, plus u minus 1 is equal to 0. Quadratic formula. So u is equal to negative b. So negative ng positive 1. So pakireview na lang yung quadratic formula. If just in case hindi nyo pakabisado. So u is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of, ang b natin is 1. So 1 squared minus 4. A, ano yung C natin? Negative 1 All over 2A So 2 times 1, that's 2 So simplify natin So negative 1 plus or minus square root of 5 Over 2 Kasi magiging minus 4 Times 1 times negative 1, that's plus 4 Okay? So mga Lodi, kung may questions kayo, huwag kayo mahihing magtanong sa comment section Kaya lang, ang hinahanap sin x Ang square root of 5 Is between siya ng Square root of 4 Tsaka ng square root of 9 Ilan ba ang square root of 4? That's 2 Square root of 9 That's 3 Kapag in-estimate natin Ang square root of 5 That is around 2.24 or 23 yata Mga loads Kapag ang ginamit nyo kasi dito Is negative Negative 1 minus 2.2 So that is negative 3.2 Over 2 That is negative 1.6 Hindi pwede yun Bakit? Ang range ng sign Is from negative 1 To positive 1 lang same with cosine. So, yung mga possible values ng sine, pinaka-minimum na nun, negative 1. Yung maximum ng mga lodi, positive 1. Therefore, hindi pwede i-consider to. Try natin yung positive. So, negative 1 plus 2.2, that is around 1.2 over 2. That is 0 0.6 possible siya. Kasi within the range. Therefore, the final answer for this problem is, sine x is equal to negative 1 plus square root of 5 all over 2. So just in case you have questions or clarifications, huwag kayo maya mag-comment sa comment section. Thank you so much mga Lodi sa patuloy na pag-support and sa pag-subscribe sa channel natin. Pagpalain kay Nerd and see you on my next math or video. Bye-bye!